Hey guys, and welcome to another video. Um, this has not been done in a very long time, uh, so this is just another instalment to like a miniature podcast slash reason for me to chat to you because, to be completely honest, I don't do that. And uh, some of you have watched uh, that cringy series of The Road, um, which I'm still debating on whether to change the name, but I don't know right now. I, I'm kind of new to that. I don't. I don't really know. I wanted to create that series as kind of a uh, a reason for me to actually have a bit of me on the channel instead of just all these other people. Um, but basically, this this year's been mad, absolutely mad. It's been. I mean, the channel's picked up a lot. I mean, I've always expected that I'm never going to gain a ridiculous amount of following because it is. I am purely only doing this for a small. I, you know, I consider the throwing community for athletics kind of a minority. You know, there's only a f there's a lot of us, but compared to all the other sports, you know, there isn't a lot of us, if that makes sense. So, I look at this as like, this is mad. You know, it's gone up. The channel has just boomed by apparently like 367% uh, over this year. It's like just boomed for me. And, and, I, and I don't just look at that as like, you know, I'll, I'll just stats and that's what I want. But so much more people are just like getting into the sport and really getting onto it. And it's absolutely brilliant to see. And like, I even go as far as saying, you know, since the Olympic Games and the whole um, Chopra and India winning it, it's like, it's, I think it's finally bringing a community together, which is just brilliant overall. I won't lie, I've, I've released a few videos that are, I need to sort of explain, um, obviously you've got the throws up performance thing, that's basically just uh, me doing my coaching and seeing everyone progress, that's it, that's all it is. I, I like to, it, it's amazing for me because I can also look back and look at the progression over the years and like, it's not all been fun and games, it's not all been so easy as people always make it out to be. It's actually been quite difficult. Things have gone wrong. Things have gone really badly wrong, you know, as in as in regards to like fitness and things like that. And then I've got my own career where I'm coming back from four years of injuries, and it's absolutely amazing. And it's it's slowly getting there. And you know, I'm a bit stiff in places, but you know, um, it's been years and years of constant injury, and now I'm finally back at something that I can say I'm happy about. So, as far as the channel goes, I've just started, literally as recording this, there's a video going out, which is uh, the Home of Javelin, question mark video, which always cracks me up, and I, I need to sort of clarify it before people get all, get on this hype train of, like, hate towards it. The idea of that series is simple. It's designed, I've made this series because it's asking a question, you know, you've had the Czech, Czech Republic, or Czechoslovakia, you've had Finland, you've had Germany, you've had Great Britain, you know, Sweden. All these countries, at one time, India, have produced some amazing throwers. Now, admittedly, I would like to do Home of Discus, Home of Hammer, Home of Thing, because I know, like, Russia would be, like, right up there with Home of Hammer. But I'm going down the route of javelin because that's all I know at the moment and that's what I'm so passionate about but the idea of it is is asking you a question do you think that India or do you think Great Britain or do you think Germany or do you think Finland is the home of javelin and it amazes me because people are like well how can you call it the home of javelin it's like it's not it's a question that's why there's a question mark on it it's asking a question but people don't see that and then I go on to these other videos like really old videos uh, that I've had which I'm just currently trying to get up now um so if we go to any of you that's got um, 100,000 on it, right? I want to clarify a few things. So oddly enough, I don't actually have that many videos, which is quite amusing that I've ever got 100k. They've all got sort of like 60, 70, 80, you know, between that. You know, there are a lot, lots of 90s. But like, forget the Diamond League ones and that. Like, there's one here that's uh, Jonas Vetter uh, and Thomas Roller meet Zanesli in 2020. People like, well, they didn't. I'm like, I know. I know, and I I, I apologise for that. I, I, it's, it's not me actually trying to clickbait. The idea of it I was trying to get was this, like, you know when they have these fantasy kind of meetups in sport? They have these fantasy meetups where they're like, um, 
you know, if they got this player versus this player, who would be the best? And like for years, you kept hearing Vetter. Vetter's amazing. He's the best thing. He's the best jab and throw ever. He's like, blah, blah, blah. and he three ninety seven me, and I'm never going to take that away from him. But then you almost think in the shadows, you've got Zanesli, who was just like one of a kind. Who people can go on about Vetter and it's saying like, you know, he's hitting nineties every throw. It's like well, Zanesli at times was hitting above ninety two every throw in a competition. It's ridiculous. You know, and don't hold me to that. I'm just saying there's some competitions where he'd go out and he'd throw like 92 and it'd be a crap throw to him. You know. But my the point of the video is designed, is, is to kind of, it's like a, fa it's a fantasy fantasy match almost. A fantasy throw off. You know, Zanesli versus um, Veta. And that's all it was. You know, that's all it's ever been. The Javelin accident video, that always cracks me up because I made that it, it, it was a curiosity of mine. I was basically, I was doing something one day and I thought, I wonder if there's like, I came across, I was watching some javelin videos, I think, and I came across these like accidents of people just, you know what it's like, you just end up on this YouTube game. You know what they call the YouTube game is where they, you start on one video and you somehow you end up on the completely opposite video to what you were watching, completely different genre of video. I ended up on some video about a guy throwing a javelin and it went through someone's foot, which was just, kind of mental really and um and i kind of just shoved it into a compilation video and for some reason i don't know why it's booming um the dislike to like ratio is appalling but i don't know why the european javelin throw 2019 which boomed for some reason is absolutely boomed at 1.7 million and i don't get this why i've, I've never really understood why that boomed i literally i was I made that video purely because I just wanted to edit a really cool video together and just a really nice simple video. There was no like really cool, it was just I just wanted it to be so smooth and simple and I made it because I just love javelin. And clearly that sh that's shown because people love it and it's it's mental and it's got a 94% uh like rate and I just don't know why i mean i'm obviously i'm talking to you over audio at the moment but like my face expression is like i just don't know i just this is amazing so if you go up to like okay let's let's fill these again let's go into something like 50 oh well okay i can't do that but okay It's it's just mental. Like I go through these videos, and don't get me wrong, the recent ones have been really difficult. Because the problem you get a lot of uploading videos, like I do, is you get loads of copyright strikes. People constantly go, and it makes you laugh. Like you're trying to promote a sport, and trying like you're taking a really boring competition clip, which I love competition clips, but you're taking them. I'm trying to make them into some sort of formal, like tiny mini movie of some sort, you know, just to give motivation to people. And then someone goes and says, can't use that. It's like, oh, really? Lots of things are from Instagram. I know, I've had a lot of that. But it's going well. You know, like this one. This one, I love this one. There's a few on here. Th this one cracks me up. And I, I'm surprised it hasn't picked up. Right? And I won't, I won't remember this. You've got Legends of Hammer Throw. And, and I, I had to put some in the title. And it did my head in, because I put Legends of Hammer Throw, and I even put in the beginning of the video, before you comment, that this is only a few of the throws, this is not every single thrower that's ever, ever picked up a hammer. And people went, well, where's so-and-so? It's like, there isn't a video. There isn't a video. The only thing I could have possibly done if to fit everyone in is to gone through a massive list of people and just sat there in a whole movie and just read them off this list. You know... And actually, while I'm here, I'm going to change that because I like that style. And and that's my problem. So I then got to realise, well, actually, it's not all about everyone else. It's what if I want to make the video and I want to make it the way I do, that's how we're going to go. You know, so we've got this other one. So it's coming up to the... And I trust me, I've been sat on this video for bloody ages. And I keep wanting to do a happy birthday, Zan, Jan Zanezzi, you know, when he reaches a certain age or something. Anyway, and it came up and literally about... Maybe a year ago, it was coming up to 
you know, it had the 25 year world record. And I kid you not, this is true. I was sat there for a whole year going, right, I'm going to make a video for the world record. It's going to be a 25 year anniversary. And I made it anyway, made the video. <clears throat> and it had been, I'd had it set for like probably edited, fully done two weeks. It's been sat in the upload box, right? And then we had Vetter have his competition. And I swear to God, I was sat there watching this competition and he was throwing like 91, 92. And, I, and then he threw like, a, I think like a, yeah, no, it was a 92. And I sat there and I thought, how crap would this be right now if he broke the world record a day before 25 year anniversary? I'd have, my video would have been sucked. My video would have been dead. And then to top it off, it would have just been a really crap day. You know, it'd been cool because he broke the world record, but it would have been crap because it's like, oh, so Nesley's record's gone and like, you know. And you think it's 25 years, that's mad. You know, some, some, some records have been longer, but 25 years is a ridiculous amount of time. I uploaded this video and it's actually done really well and I'm I'm really quite happy about it really. Um and I mean po positive you know 25k it's quite good and, and all that and I'm not even bothered about that sort of stuff but you know I just it, it, it for, for me it's it's the amount of people that like it and and appreciate the video and I don't like really I mean snaps in there or whatever but like the comments on it have just been brilliant you know thank you for this tribute to it's amazing. It's just brilliant, and it's it's baffled me, you know. And then um, lead on, following on to the Olympic Games, I said, when people were going on, oh, who's going to win? Oh, this oh, vet is going to whip it. Everyone, and I said, it'd be a shocker. It'd be something where people didn't expect it. Like I expected, Niraj. Sorry, I apologise because I'm going to say his name, Chopra. I expected him to get a medal. I didn't think he'd get gold. And forget Chopra for a second. I didn't even think that the Czech, Czech Republic would have even gotten a medal. So I can't even believe that. And seeing people can talk about India and that, like just forget India for two seconds, right? Think of Czech Republic. Vesley has gone gone there year after year after year after year and constantly thrown rubbish throws, like what he would consider crap throws. You know, like eighty. Well, he's an 85, 90 meter. He's thrown 89 once on a foul. And then he goes and throws that and gets this ridiculous, like, I think it was 85 or something, which is so cool to see him hit that after all this time. It's, like, just amazing. It's, like, the greatest thing for me because I've seen, I've watched that guy, you know, I grew up, I, he, he inspired me. And watching him, like, go from really hot, good highs and then getting beat constant and we're not going to beat just losing distances and then seeing him do that and then people you know all of that's been taken off of the checks but I'm, i mean that's amazing you know they're coached by personally they're the most probably the most inspiring if not in my eyes the greatest jab and throw that ever lived you know and i and we can talk about the 104 meters throw and all that we can talk about that but that, that was the old school jab and this is a new one you know, this is the problem. People get so caught up on it. It's like, yeah, but he threw things. Well, I'm sure someone out there, I mean, there's there's been a recorded throw of someone, a, a man throwing a 600 gram javelin 116 meters. What's, what's your point? We, we, we This is it. This is, we're on this javelin. So let's just go with that. But yes, you had Niron Chopra, which is amazing. I thought, you know, personally, I thought the... Um, I thought the Pakistani thrower, if he had just, if his didn't topple a lot, if his wasn't toppling, his was going 90 metres easily. He, I reckon he'd have won that, that competition. He was going to win that competition because he, he, he threw that javelin and it, it's beyond me. I mean, it just toppled early, but it was lit. That was going, and that was going big. So yeah, he he was. That was a good competition. I'm just looking through some other bits and pieces. Lots of the comments, Andrew. Oh, Andreas Peters. 
Son. He got 85 after like a weird season. He obviously threw 89 metres and then come back and then threw, struggled and struggled and then, you know, now he threw 85 in. Uh, off, off, oh, sorry, I'm going to apologise for saying this. Anyone that's German, I sincerely apologise. I'm hopefully I can say this, but is it Offenberg? Berg? Yeah, the, you know, that was brilliant. And then Vetter, you know, threw the 85. And, he, you know, and it's like, that's because he had lost the Olympics. I mean, absolutely had a nightmare of the Olympics. I mean, don't get me wrong, the track was crap. Like, it was apparently, it was just appalling. Um, and then someone said about Spotkova. No, I, 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 I mean, it's sad to say, but I think, I think she's, um, I don't want to say out of day because she's a very good thrower and she might come back. So, I hope she does because I think she's great. Near everyone's up on about India. It's quite a, it's quite a big thing, isn't it? It's it's really hit it. I mean, first time in something like, like a hundred odd years, it is absolutely amazing. Then people are saying, but um, you know, he it, Chopra would have won t Rio Olympics. It's like, yeah, well, that's easy to say, but you, then you've also got to like let's be let's talk reality here. Someone told me he's going to break the world record. He's now got to go and throw, what, 12 metres on top of what he's got. Or some, no, like at least 10 metres on whatever he's got. I don't know, I can't remember. But he, I think he throws like 88, I think, 88. So you're still talking, oh, well, you know, he wants to be, he's got up that by a, quite a lot just to be able to hit close to the world record. He might. I don't know. I don't know. And it's this is the problem. People just assume it's going to happen. It might. It might. It might not. Who cares? Let's just see how it goes. There's lots of it's about that. I mean, it's quite funny actually. Uh, I mean, if someone watches this, I put on there um, that Niron Chopper. So I I had a title of a video and. He got the Olympic. Obviously, he won gold. So I put on the. Um, this was an old video in like twenty, I don't know, twenty eighteen or something like that. And he basically he won Tokyo. And I put on there, Olympic champion, Niranj Chopra. People think that I predicted it. I don't know why, because there's no way I would have predicted that. Um. It, it, it's definitely it's interesting so and then you've got the other you know there's a lot of people on here it's amazing just the, just the sheer audience coming in like the audience apparently it, it's quite it's quite a weird thing this is the first time i've actually really had to look at all these sort of you know channel analytics and stuff like that because i don't really understand it but it's interesting i don't really care about the the view side of it it's um for, for me honestly it's it's more to do with where people are from see this is what amazes me this is like go back a year a lot of my uh demographic and sort of my areas of people where they came from who watch was oddly enough it was a lot like germany england or united kingdom united states and they're still up there but currently my top five are starting from bottom so Number five is uh, Australia, then it's United Kingdom, United States, Pakistan, India. India, ridiculous. Don't get it. And it, I, I, and it's purely probably because I put these videos of Niranj Chopra on my channel ages ago and tried to promote him, basically. And I think people have just gone, when it's come to videos, because I had all the videos and I'm actually making content about him, people are coming over going, well, we're looking for this content of him. Oh, this dude's got loads of content of him and he's promoting him. So I don't want to say blow smoke, but I think I've done a good job there because that's gone up a lot. Yeah, it's, just, it's interesting. But I find, uh, I actually actually found, weirdly enough, it's... A lot of the reason for that is I knew that there's a massive audience of javelin throwers really early on in India and Pakistan. I know there's a big thing, and they, they you know, throwing over there is, is. I would love to experience it myself. I'm from the United Kingdom, but I'd love to experience it myself. But don't think I'd personally go over there yet. Not right now. Obviously, not with all this stuff that's going on. But 
just to see Javelin in that it would be amazing to see how they do it. Because for whatever people are saying, they're, they're currently, and let's not just talk top level, we're talking all levels here, they're actually hitting really high. They're doing really, really well. So it's, it's bloody interesting how they're doing it all. Uh, but yeah, most of it's like this is. A, I don't really know why YouTube's got this, but it's a it's a um, to do with gender people watching. I, I suppose, obviously, it's male orientated. You know, you have female throwers about ten percent, but I mean, and and I do look at that. That is slightly my issue. That is my not issue, but that's my where I need to improve for the channel. I need to improve the channel in including more female throwers, and it's not because. I mean, I do. It's not that I don't. It's I do, but I'm, I mean, it's difficult because <sighs> people there isn't a lot. That's it, and and that's it. And I, I'm trying and trying and trying to add more and more female throws to the channel, and trying to like you know really branch out and 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 promote female javelin throwing or female discus or fem see disc see javelin bit of a. I mean, it just, it's a lot, I don't know, it's its not an easy one, but like, discus, brilliant, because there's tons of good discus throwers. Uh, sorry, this is sound really bad now, but I've, I've got to be honest. There's tons of like, high profile names in discus, hammer, because they're all well record, you know, big things. You've got the Barbora Spotikova, that was a while ago. I think it's just a place for improvement. I don't really know what I'm saying, but I think it's a place of improvement where I need to try and get more female javelin discus, hammer, shot put throwers sort of viewed on the channel. And I do want to do it. I do really want to do it. And it's, I think a lot of it is, is, is the sheer fact that I spend most of my time looking at the male javelin throwers, you know, and techniques and things like that, that I just don't watch the other side. And that's just got to be brutally honest. I just don't. I don't really know enough of people like obviously I grew up and idolized all the Andreas Torkills and Jans and Esli, Terra Pekamaki, you know, and I I carry on like it's one of those things. I can't you you just sort of idolize those people and then I'm trying to make create a channel. At the end of the day, I've just got to show that I do want it and it will happen. So as in for playlists, my playlist is doing quite well. Um, pick of the week is weird. I don't know why. I literally just made this. I basically made this playlist just for randomness, and for some reason, it's picked up massively, and everyone's loving it. I don't know why. Um, yeah, that's not really uh, viewer age. This is always interesting. You, you, kind of actually for me, it's it's making sense, but. It turns out that the popular things, 18 to 24 and 25 to 34, you do get some uh, 35 to 44 is a lot better. But actually, weirdly enough, anywhere from the ages of 13 to 17 isn't a lot, really. You know, we're talking, what we're talking, 3.5% of the channel is, is 13 to 17 year olds, which is weird for throwing. 18 to 24 is probably, yeah, getting on there. That's 32. And then actually my biggest demographic... Sorry, demographic. My biggest my biggest um, viewership from ages is 25 to 34. So that's my my age. You know, that's, that's interesting, really. Yeah, it's definitely interesting. What I would like to do, I must admit, looking going forward, I would like to, my next video, I'm going to put a video out there and I want people just to comment. I want like a big Q&A thing, I want to answer some questions, all of that, because I think it would be really cool to just start talking. I just think it'd be good for us all. Um, you know, channel comments. There's quite a lot on here. You know, since uh, Niraj won the gold for India, Tokyo Olympics, this would become my second favourite game after cricket. And maybe because I'm in the United Kingdom, I don't, I never get that in a game. Sport. Oh, that's just a way of saying it, isn't it? It's, it's different people. Um, 
see, the thing the thing I don't get, in, and I'm not like I coach javelin and I've thrown javelin for years, but it does crack me up when Vetter does one bad competition and people think that he's they know what he's doing wrong. It's like it just baffles me. He just had a bad comp. You know, he slipped on the track. There's probably multiple things, but keep going on about the bloody technique. And I'm always oh, not throwing 90. The reason he's not throwing 95 is because he's not doing this and this and this. It's like, well, you do that, that, and that, and then you should be throwing 95. Maybe Rollin missed the smooth follow through. Oh, this is 2019. I don't know. It's just, it's whatever, isn't it? It's just one of those things. It happens. Stuff doesn't. I don't get this one for India. Maybe, again, I, I'm from the other side of the pond, but it's, uh, what a strength, what a Josh, what a boy, we're proud of you. I'm proud of him. Fair play. You know. It's definitely getting down there. Uh, I mean, the Pakistani guy, um, Arshad Nadim, is, like I say, I, I'm telling you, that is going. That He's going to hit... 90. I'm I'm serious. He's going to hit 90. He will hit 90 metres quick. I, I'm just sure of it. You know, national record, all of that. Honestly, it's, it's going really well. You know, this one, look. Niraj Chopper, 23 years old. Uh, <laughs> Johnson, Veta. No, Veta's 28. Yeah, but Zanesli was throwing 85 at the age of 40. You know, he broke the world record at 30. What's people's points? I don't get it. It's like... Anyway, it's been a really good year. Um, what I want to do is more and more of these sorts style of videos. You know, I know it's a bit of a podcast, but I want to do some live streams where we can just talk and actually have a chat. But I don't want anyone just going and saying, oh, you you don't know what you're on about. Look, it, it's an open view. It's, it's people's opinion. I just want to talk and chat, get an understanding of what people are actually feeling about when it comes to javelin and all that. Because this is the sort of thing we need. We need to understand. We need to talk. This is fun. This is what we should do. Um, yeah, you know, it's definitely it's definitely the way forward. So I thank you very much for all listening to this video. Um, I know it's been an audio sort of podcast. I want to try and do some more of these, um, but maybe what I'll do in future is I won't do massive ones. I'll do like one big one and then a load of just little topics and stuff because I think it'd be good fun to talk about. Um, I am considering starting to write articles again. I don't quite know yet, but. Um, yeah, check it out. It's throwsub.co.uk. Check it all out over there. Um, I'm going to try and do some Niraj Chopra merch. <laughs> I know it's going to be hard, but it is what it is. I might do a poster. So thank you very much for listening, and I'll see you all soon.